Warren Buffett said someone sitting in the heat today because someone planted a tree long time ago. A tree is a life. Without the tree, it is not possible for an animal to survive on earth. Trees continue to contribute human activities from birth to day. A tree purifies the environment by consuming 13 kg of carbon dioxide a year. At the same time, 6 and a quarter kilogram of oxygen releasing into the air, which is crucial for our survival. Hey, I'm Mejan from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering and my ID is 1810002. I am boastful to be a part of the Green Economy Project. And for this project, I planted four trees. The trees are papier tree, mentally chili tree and malabar spence. Let's get started. These are my trees. I planted the trees for my personal needs. So it goes without saying that these are private goods, which sustain rival in consumption and exclusivity of the economy. Then a question may aspire to your mind that how to sustain. If we gaze at rival in consumption, if I convert chili, mint leaves, papaya, or malabar spence to anyone else, it will destroy me, which I would never want. So, this work of mine sustain rival in consumption. Again, if we gaze at exclusivity, chili, mint leaves, malabar spence, papaya, whether I'll convert this to anyone is up to me. So, this work of mine sustain exclusivity. That's all about my parts. The next part will be described by my teammates consistently. Hope you all relish. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shamima Akta from Green University of Bangladesh from CSC department. My ID is 18100228. At first, I want to thank my honorable teacher, Laila Fedusi Ma'am, for this kind of presentation. Now, I am going to present my tree plantation project named Green Economy. According to your section, I plant two vegetable trees. One is green jump and another one is naga pepper. Now I will try to discuss about opportunity cost which is principle two and another one is trade can make everyone better off. That is principle five. So let's go over there. According to principle two of economics is opportunity cost. That means the cost of something is what? you give up to get it. So here I planted two vegetables trees. One is brinjal and naga pepper. English lockdown. I planted my time. Maybe I was place game or Facebooking or somehow I waste my time. But I use my time as best as possible for vegetables tree plantation. Here Vegetables tree plantation is my opportunity cost. Another one is according to principle 5 of economics is trade can make everyone better off. I bought brinjal and naga pepper seeds in a market from a seller. He bought those seeds for 20 taka and he asked me for 40 taka but I said I will pay 30 taka and he agreed. So here we are both benefited. Um, that's all about my topics. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I am Digong Tode, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Green University of Bangladesh. ID 1810021123. And now I am going to present about my tree plantation project, which is named Green Economy. And I plant two types of vegetables tree, like as first is uh, one is green chili tea and second is coriander leaf tree. So now I try to discuss how my project is related uh, with the economics topic free rider problem and the tragedy of common. Thank you topic is free rider problem actually we know that free rider problem basically is a person who received the benefit of a goods without paying anything so when i get some green chili or coriander from my plantation this time i'm not a free rider but if i provide those vegetables for my neighbor this time they are called the free rider because they enjoy the vegetables without paying anything 
So this time my neighbor are called the free rider because they assess my vegetables freely. Now the next topic is tragedy of common. Actually tragedy of common means common resource get used more than is desirable from the standpoint of the society as whole. Actually our project name is green economy. In, in, a, in a country about 25% trees should be needed but in our country 15 to 70 percent are survived everyday people cut many trees but they don't plant any any trees if this process will be continue one day our country will be a desert the complexity and the entropy of our country increasing day by day so we need plant any kinds of tree if it will help us for maintain our country's condition and decrease the entropy of our country. On the other hand, the population of our country is increasing day by day very quickly. For more people, we need more food. So if we plant vegetable trees more and more, our food problem should be gone one day. And I think that's all about my topic and the next part of our project described by Anika Ahmed. Hope all of you guys enjoy this. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Anika Ahmed, student of Green University of Bangladesh, Department of PSC, and my ID is 181002118. Now I am presenting my tree plantation project, which name is Green Economy. This project is belong to my engineering economic course. I have planted some vegetable tree. Now one is Malabar spinach, and another is coriander and mint. Now I am discussing two economical terms which are related to this project. One is demand and another is supply. So let's go over this. At first I want to talk about demand. Demand is willing, willing to pay and able to buy goods at different prices. So I was willing to pay for this plant and also able to buy at different prices because this all plants were my demand for my education demand plus says that if other things remain same when price is increased demand is decreased and when price is decreased the demand is increased secondly now i am talking about supply supply is the different quantities of goods and services that producers are willing to sell and ability to sell at different prices supply law says that as price increase quantity of supply increase as price falls quantity supplied falls from this project maybe i can produce some vegetables in market in future uh, that's all about my discussion thanks for watching now let's go to our next presentation Assalamu alaikum, I am Rajmuk Sakir Chidan from Green University of Bangladesh, Department of CSC. My ID is 181-22-115. Today, I am going to share my Green Economic Project with you and according to the project, I plan to present it the first one is spinach and second one is meat. And I will try to discuss about two economic topics, first one is storage and second one GDP. So, let's go on there. So now I am talking about externality. It means it is a cost or benefit caused by a producer that is not financially incurred or received by that producer. It has two types, first one is positive and second one is negative. Now I will discuss about positive externality. It means it impact positively in the society. As name of, of our project is green economy and we plant two vegetable trees so that there are lots of positive factors. This tree can help the environment and society by giving more oxygen and by consuming more carbon dioxide. This is how it will help the help to reduce global warming. We or our neighbor can fulfill their vegetable demand by these vegetable trees. So that's how green economy is related to a positive externality. So now let's talk about GDP. Bangladesh is an agricultural country. Every two of five people are work in agriculture. This agricultural sector currently contributes 12% to GDP. GDP means gross domestic product. GDP is the final value of the goods and services produced within the geographical boundaries of a country during a specified time. GDP can be measured by three methods, first one is output method, second one is expenditure method, third one is income method. So in our project we plant two vegetable trees, so before plant we have to buy tub, then seed or seedlings. 
That means we have to spend money to the market. When the plant will be growth, we can sell it to the market. So we can earn money from that. That's how GDP is related to our green economy project. So thank you. Thank you for watching us. So far you have seen our video. We tried our best and hope you guys have enjoyed it. Finally, before to go, we'd like to thank to our course instructor Lila Pantosinam for giving such an amazing project to us. And obviously it was a great experience for us. So we are leaving here for today. Good luck and stay safe. Thank you.